Hi, I'm Chris Bonney here at the Natural Food Expo West, and I am joined on the floor at the booth of Cafe D'Amour by their president, Paul Comey. Mr. Comey, thank you very much for allowing us to stop by your beautiful booth here at the Expo West. Sir, could you just do a, do me a favor and just kind of tell uh, everybody about uh, the beginnings of Cafe D'Amour and uh, where you all come from and uh, how you all got here? Well, sure. Uh, actually, uh, my wife uh, created the... Uh the, the first product, our first product, which we call Café d'Amour, it was based on a concept that my uh, grandmother, uh, my maternal grandmother, uh, in in she was she had a small shop in uh, Bellagio, Italy, and um, it was like an inn, a pensione inn, and um, she had she was roasting her own coffee in those days, and and she created a drink. Uh, specialty drink that she put uh, chocolate in it, Belgian chocolate, and, and a couple of liqueurs and uh -huh. whipped cream, and she called it uh, Café d'Amore con un bacio, the coffee of love with a kiss. Well, that's what inspired Eva to do it, um, and uh, she created it, and it was the actually the first flavored instant cappuccino in the world in 1969. So it was pretty, pretty premature. So it's safe to say that Café d'Amore, in America at least, is basically at the forefront and is a true pioneer in this industry? Correct. It, 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 we really were, I mean, at the time, I'll tell you, most people didn't even know what cappuccino was. I mean, when we went out, uh, we really had to have them taste it. We made it and tasted it to them. Well, my wife did and, and, and her team. And... Um, they would taste it and they just couldn't believe that something that they would simply add uh, some hot water, stir it, and, and it was it was just a wonderful taste. Right. And that was really one of the reasons which led us to follow in, in kind of what our roots are into it, who are both Italian, and um, the culture of Northern Italy particularly uh, is, is somewhat distinctive in that, uh, for example, with, with coffee, they, they will tend to be more of a uh, Arabica type of, of a lighter roast, whereas from Naples down south, uh, they prefer to put in a little Robusta and so forth. So we, we kind of are influenced greatly by the, uh, the, the we, in fact, we have the motto, uh, passion for flavor, because we feel that uh, flavor is the essential ingredient of these products. Yes, sir. Sir, you have a long line of a very interesting Epicurean uh, culinary products. Could you just go through a few of them that you're displaying here at the show, uh, Natural Food Expo West? Sure. You know, it's interesting that from the very inception, uh, my wife Eva, she was very, very, you know, bent on, on trying to create the healthiest type of product that, in fact, when, when many of these other drinks came out in, in the big companies like either Starbucks or, or Dunkin' Donuts and so forth, you'll, you'll see calories up in the 800, 900 gram range. Uh, we've always been uh, less sugar. We've always tried to be uh, as, as, as calorie conscious, and we're in the 300 uh, range, gram range uh, from our inception. So that was a natural tendency to follow in, in again, an Italian tradition of culinary, and very European. Uh, and in our flavor profiles, we have the motto, uh, passion for flavor, because we attempt to, to really uh, lead with, with flavor. Right. And we feel that even in, with natural, with, with some of our natural lines like Epicurean, which are, are three types of, 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 uh, of forms of, of chocolate uh, or cocoa in, in, that can be used in various preparations, and we have these recipes for them. Right. Um, and even with our, we came out with a uh, Petals tea, uh, instant tea line that is all natural, and uh and a sipping chocolate. Those are our primary products right now that are lines that are that are natural. But again, we have always tried to marry flavor with natural and health. Right. And that has guided us from the very beginning. 
Sure. Thank you for letting us stop by your booth. Well, I did want to ask one question about, it, it, it looks good, I haven't tried it yet, and, and I really want to try it, but can you just tell us about your freeze-dried gourmet espresso that you have available? Yes, sure. Uh, we, you know, we have, we had been, we had created a product called Espressimo, which is a, is a true, uh, in, the, in the vein of a true Italian uh, uh, cappuccino. There's no chocolate. There's no what it is. Strictly espresso and and um, and creamer. But we felt that um, what what we needed to do uh, was was to well, you know, <laughs> I'm having a little difficulty it's because okay. the problem is is that it's always been our mindset to to try to be clean and and uh, this is. This has been a real challenge when it came to the area of flavorings, and we layer our flavorings. We are not a single flavor type product. We uh, Eva fashions her, her her flavorings on on the basis of, of layers, and uh, this is again a culinary tradition. And I think that this is the thing that is driving a lot of, of taste today in restaurants and in in the coffee field, and that is the flavor and and. Uh, and the culinary style of it. Right. Paul Comey, president of Cafe di Amore, here visiting uh, at the Natural Food Expo West, booth number 5265, that's in Hall E here at the Natural Food Expo West. Mr. Comey, thank you very much for letting us stop by your booth, your very beautiful booth here at the show. Uh, again, Cafe di Amore, di Amore can be found at www.cafediamore.com that's with two F's C-A-F-F-E-D-A-M-O-R-E dot com again Paul Comey president of Cafe Di Amore thank you very much sir have a great rest of the show and have a great rest of the year thank you